Great speaking with you. So, do you have any questions for me? If you want to get a sales job, you're going to have to be able to answer that question by asking questions. Fortunately, I have helped 500 people get hired in sales jobs, and I have found that the culture, role, next steps, sales interview question asking framework is very successful. I'm going to give you specific questions that you can ask your interviewer, your hiring manager, your recruiter that will be relevant and will impress them, whether you're in the initial phone screening or you're in the final round interview speaking with a sales manager, sales leader, VP of sales. I know many of you have unique situations, so if you're preparing for an upcoming interview and you'd like to do a role play with me or have me help you prep a specific cold call script, whatever it may be, I've included a one-on-one -on -one link to my coaching in the description below. Before we talk about the specific questions you can be asking, I wanna frame the conversation by saying a lot of people overthink how to respond to that question. So do you have any questions for me? Most people think that the questions you ask your recruiter will help you get the job or not get the job. And I think it plays a role in the recruiter's mind, but keep in mind, they have a specific criteria that they are judging you on based on the answers to your questions up until that point in the interview. So you asking your interviewer the questions should help you understand if the company would even be a good fit for you. It's a two-way street. You are being interviewed, but you are also interviewing them. Anyone that goes into the conversation needy or desperate or, hey, I really got to get this job to pay rent. I hope they like me. I hope I don't mess up. I hope I don't sound stupid. You've already lost because you're going in with a scarce mindset. Go in with abundance and recognize, hey, I'm going to be myself. I know they'll like me, but I don't know if I'll like them. So I need to make sure I'm asking the right questions to understand if I even want to dedicate 40, 50 hours a week for the next few years of my life to this company. Beginning with culture-based questions. So this is the first category of questions you wanna ask. So do you have any questions for me? I would ask, hey, so why did you decide to join the company? What you wanna do here is you wanna get answers to your questions, specifically seeking to understand the look and feel and the culture and what the day-to-day -day will feel like of the company, but you also want to get your interviewer talking about themselves. You will come away feeling more memorable if you made the interviewer feel special. So how can you get someone to feel special and important? You can get them talking about themselves. So I would say their name. Hey Trent, so I, I really enjoyed our conversation here today. Why did you decide to join the company? And they'll say, oh my gosh, well, um, the culture is great. I love what I'm doing here. The people I'm working with are amazing. And they're gonna go on this long winded answer and you say, ah, oh, that, that's really interesting. So how would you describe the culture? And most likely they're gonna go off into some tangent about, well, we have this acronym and it stands for transparency and open and hard and we're just, we're just such great friends. So they're gonna go off on that and this is a great place to start out. And then you ask them, hey, so what keeps you at the company? Because it's very important to understand how the day-to-day -day is and how that plays into how they see their future goals. So hey, what, what keeps you at the company? What, what do you see as far as your next steps in the company? Keep in mind, they may be a frontline interviewer, they're trying to get to a manager of managing interviewers, maybe they're a VP of sales. So keep in mind who your audience is when you're asking these questions, but you want to understand the culture because if, you, if you're a great technical fit, if you'd be great at the job, but you're not a good culture fit, you probably will not last at the company long. So you just wanna come away from the culture questions, understanding the culture, if you think you would have fun there, if you would get along with the people there, and then also make your interviewer, hiring manager, recruiter, feel special by talking about themselves and telling their specific story. Next, we're gonna talk about role-based specific questions, but first, if you're having a tough time finding interviews, I put together an in-depth course teaching you how you can actually identify companies, job opportunities, how to apply, what to say, who to reach out to going through the back door, and you can visit the link in the description below with Course Careers, and I put together an entire free intro course that I think you'll find a lot of value by checking out. Next, as we think about role-specific questions, this is self-explanatory. For the role that you're interviewing for, if it's an SDR, sales development rep role, or an account executive role, maybe you're even interviewing for a leader role, you wanna to seek to understand, 
Okay, so can you tell me more about what the career progression looks like? The number one reason why people leave companies attrition is because they don't have a sense of future oriented purpose at the company. They lose sight of what's next and then they get lost in the weeds of the difficulties they face. And keep in mind, the problems are never going away. No matter what role you go to, there's gonna be problems. The grass will never be greener magically at another side. So seek to understand, okay, so I'm interviewing for an entry level SDR job. What is the next role I would promote to? How long would it take me to promote to that? What specifically do I need to do to promote to that next level? What percentage of reps are hitting today? Hey, could I speak with someone who's actually done that? These are very important questions to ask. I don't know if you've thought about this in depth, but most people will just say, okay, well, what, what does a day in the life look like? Or um, what, what would I be doing? These are surface level. Go very deep and understand, okay, I'm gonna give you guys everything I got if I achieve the objective, well, what is the objective? What is the quota? What does success look like at this company? And they need to be able to tell you concrete, tangible, you need to make 50 calls a day, set three meetings a week, and generate five opportunities a quarter. And if you do that for nine months, you will promote to this next level. Okay, well, what percentage of people are actually hitting the number? Who has actually done that? How many people have done that? What does that look like? Can I speak with someone who's done it? You wanna really understand the role because if you're just mass applying to companies saying, okay, well they pay 50 grand, it's fully remote, it'll be cool, it'll all work out, you're gonna find yourself in a situation that may not be a good fit for you and then you're gonna go on to waste months of your life and it's just gonna set you back in the long run. So you wanna ask the difficult questions up front and seek to understand the role so that when you start, you are excited and you know that you will be there three to five years at the company. And if you leave, if you go away from the interview saying, you know what, I don't think I could be here for three to five years, then it's just totally not worth your time. It's gonna be equally hard getting the right opportunity and equally hard and also miserable getting the wrong opportunity. So just think about, well, hey, let me just get the right one to start and let me ask the right questions, specifically seeking to understand the role. So at this point, you've asked a few questions to understand the culture. You believe, hey, this company looks like it'd be a lot of fun to work with. You've made the interviewer, recruiter, hiring manager, sales leader feel special because you've authentically asked about and listened to the story very presently. And you can use that information in your follow-up afterwards, which we're gonna talk about shortly. You've next asked about the specific role and understanding what does success look like? Do I believe I can do this? Am I excited to do this? Do I wanna get out of bed each and every day to go accomplish this? And then finally, you're gonna ask next step based questions. So think about it. They are hiring for one role. They have 10 applicants. So nine people are gonna to get told no. So why would you get told yes? So one way to increase your chances of success are by asking, okay, so what are next steps in the hiring process? And they're most likely gonna say, well, I'm gonna go back to my team. We're gonna, we're gonna talk about feedback and, and we're gonna get back to you. And then, and then at this point, the majority of people say, great, I look forward to hearing from you. And they're, they're, then, the, then they send the follow up and then they don't hear back. And then they're just in a state of confusion and uncertainty. So what you wanna do is you wanna seek to understand and clarify those next steps, just like you would in an actual sales cycle. When should I expect to hear back from you? When you go back to your team, may I ask what, what feedback w would you tell them based on how you think I did today? And if you're really feeling bold, what you can do is go direct for it and say, look, I'm really interested in this role. In the event I receive an offer, I would accept immediately because you are the number one company on my list. You don't wanna come across desperate here or needy, but you wanna be very, you wanna be rooted in clarity and conviction. I really wanna work there. If you give me an offer, I will accept. I'm not here to play games, I'm not here to waste your time, I'm not gonna get all these counter offers. Do you have any hesitations or concerns about me moving forward in your process? Ask them point blank. 
is there any reason why I wouldn't move forward in your view? So based on how you like to communicate, think about how you would frame that, but you wanna understand what are next steps in the process? Who do they need to go speak to? When will they speak to them? When can you expect to hear back from them? Are there any concerns they have as to why you wouldn't move forward? Because imagine getting off the call, having no idea when they're gonna get back to you and having no idea how you actually did. So you wanna ask for feedback. When I did a job interview a few months ago, I didn't end up moving forward, but I asked her afterwards, I said, so what, why specifically didn't I move forward? Get that feedback, how you did in that specific interview, but if you don't get the job, also get that feedback, so then you can apply that feedback to do better in other job interviews. And then of course, once you understand that, if you feel good about it, send your follow-up, make sure you're connected with them on LinkedIn and keep in touch ahead of that date. And if you don't, if you don't hear back from them by the time they told you they would get back to you, send them a very polite follow-up note. Hey, I really enjoyed our conversation last week. It, it sounded like you had positive feedback for me. I know you'd be speaking with your manager. I look forward to hearing back soon. And then they'll probably get back to you and say, hey, as a matter of fact, here's the job, or hey, you need to go speak with this person, and that's the final step. Keep in mind, these recruiters, hiring managers, they only get paid when they actually hire people, when they hire quality people that stay at the company. So they are operating on behalf of your best interest. They're not working against you, they are working for you. And never lose sight of the fact that it only takes one interview to completely change your life. So never lose faith, never lose hope. Keep applying, keep showing up, keep putting your best foot forward and I promise you it will work out. In summary, what we talked about today are the questions you can ask during your sales interview whenever you're asked. So do you have any questions for me? Culture-based questions, role-based questions, next step oriented based questions. If you found value in today's video, hit the thumbs up button now if you have not already and subscribe to the channel if you'd like to support and to see more videos just like this one.